Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cagezilla 53. We are grateful to be here on a terrible weather, weather night here in Manassas, Virginia. But in here, everything is warm and toasty. I dare say hot, Charles Oshinsko. We got more fights coming up, and uh, let's go right back into the one and only Chris Fuller in our Cagezilla Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next bout. Making his way to the cage and fighting out of the red corner, it's Kyle Hall. This is our dads. This is our family feud tonight. This is, uh, we saw Preston Soka earlier tonight. Here comes his dad, John. So wait a minute here. We might be a little out of whack here. I don't think Saka's fighting Kyle Hall. Yeah, that one's a little out of whack here. Let's let's figure out what's happening. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. I had to go to the restroom. Correction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Correction. His way to the ring yeah. and fighting out of the ring. John order. Saka. It's John Soka. That's what I thought. Soka's 5'11", 179, 48 years of age. He's up there around UCD, around that age. The out, of the, <laughs> out of the UFC gym in Woodbridge by, via Manassas, via Detroit, Michigan. We have seen John fight almost every event. This guy never gets old. Well, you know, he's, he's got a lot of experience. He's got a great uh, a great training camp. You know, clearly this runs in the family. Again, he's got Ahmed Karayeti in his corner, uh, which it does not get any better than that in the, in the DMV. And this is also a fight that's been canceled two times prior to this one. So it looks like we're finally going to get to see it. It's, and by the way, Taekwondo since he was 10 years old. Oh, yeah. So the guy's a fight. He's a lifer. He's a martial arts nerd the way I am and you are, Charles. Um, his son, of course, Preston, we saw and him open the show. Fighting his way to the ring and fighting out of the blue corner, it's Will Holtzclaw. And here comes his opponent, Big Will Holtzclaw. Again, this is the second fight for, uh, for Cade Zilla. Will's 39. He's got a 1-3 record, but listen, he is tougher than that record indicates. We saw his daughter. Aaliyah fight to open this show tonight. There she is, walking out with her old man. It's funny how the dads and the dads are fighting. I think this was the dad kids fight night. Absolutely. And to, and to see that happen, and to see the kids walking out with the dads, I absolutely love that. They were in the back back there encouraging each other, like they were talking back and forth. And it's fun to watch this kind of stuff. I mean, people think about fighting. This is a sport. This there is, is a fun. lot of love in this sport, Kevin yes. Schaefer, and this cruising. I yes. say that every fight. There is a lot of love in this. A lot of these guys and girls who go who go toe to toe with each other for the whole fight. They're best friends afterwards. There's nothing else like it. And it's and it's so much fun to watch. And we've seen John. We've seen uh, Will fight. You know, just pretty awesome. Let's go up to Chris. We'll get the call. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of our family feud night here at Cape Zilla 53. These two fighters are the fathers of the two fighters in our first bout this evening, which was our team's intermission bout. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cape Zilla middleweight division. It is brought to you by Jersey Mike Subs. Starting out, fighting out of the red corner. Standing 5 foot 11 and weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of UFC Jam of Woodbridge, it's John Soka. John Soka, 5'11", 179, 48 years of age, a UFC Jam out of Woodbridge. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing 5 foot 9 and weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of UFC Jam of Virginia Beach, it's Will Holtzclaw. Holtzclaw, 5'9", 182, 39 years of age, out of UFC Jam in Virginia Beach. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Beach Jam of the Weight Division. And your referee is Michael Dolman. Michael Dolman back out there taking care of this event also tonight, as I think he's going to take care of all of them. As we get the cage all racked up, ready to go and locked, here comes the both fighters now. John in the red gloves, Will fighting in the black gloves. They'll touch gloves right on the middle of the Cagezilla logo, and let's go to work. A lot of forward pressure from Will Holtzclaw. Look at the nice takedown. Trip. Great reversal from John. Got to watch out for the old guys. Oh, there's Wiley. That's a serious knee. Oh, he caught him low. 
He caught him low. Yeah, he hit him. He, he hit doesn't him. have a timeout. He doesn't. Uh, he got to go to opposite corner. Opposite corner. So there we go. We get it all set up. Man, they came out like young surprise. <laughs> wow. John just got caught a little bit low with that knee. And that's the difference when you get somebody with a height advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Will came out real fiery, but I thought John did a great job of getting his way back to the feet after that initial takedown. He gets up to five minutes here, I believe. Five minutes. And, and they usually don't take the five minutes because the crowd gets on them. See, we talk about this all the time. The pressure from the crowd gets to you. They say, oh, boo, you know, but you ain't been kicked there. I don't think I've ever seen anybody take the full five no. unless it's been blatant. Right. But watch out for these old guys. They know all the dirty old veteran tricks. <laughs> they got bone density because they've been hit, punching stuff for 30 years sometimes. Big uppercut landed there that knocked the mouthpiece out of Will Holtzclaw. There was a mouthpiece loose. Now, I'm, I'm surprised. Big armbar Michael attempt. Oh, armbar attempt this. here from John Look Postman. at this, John Charles. Oh, he almost had it. Now he's got some hammer going. Big ground and pound from the bottom. He's got to work his way back up, though. I'm surprised Michael. Holtzclaw got to, has, oh, a, has the arm there? under, but he doesn't have the hooks. Oh, it looks like he, he got it. Damn. Will Holtzclaw with the rear naked choke and the dad climbs to the top of the cage. You absolutely love it. Don't need him. I don't need a mouthpiece. Look at this. What a great fight. I mean, that's just fun, guys. Good sportsmanship. The family's involved. They'll do, it'll be a family split, one and one each. Look at that. That's fair. How you go? You know what? If if uh, if you're Lacey there, you go back and you go, my dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> In that fight. Right. Probably You probably feel pretty good at school. If somebody talks to you, you get bullied at school, you get your pops. There was some pretty good technique there, though. Excellent takedown, strong reversals from John. Uh, one of the things that really impressed me was the dirty boxing from, from Koska as he was dealing with this pressure from, from Will Holtzclaw. That yeah, armbar was close. It was a good job out of Holtzclaw to roll out of it. Wow, he really was close with that, wasn't he? Yeah. And I don't think either one of these guys wanted this fight to go out of the first round because, yeah. you know, that's a long time to be doing this. <laughs> Nine minutes of fighting, but what a fun fight. And we see, you know what? And every time I think I'll be, oh, it'll be the last time we see John. It won't be the last time we see John. <laughs> John's going to come back and fight somebody else. He's going to train harder, and he's going to keep being a great role model for his kid. But just, just fun to watch. And, and with a very, very solid skill set as well. Very solid. And, and, and we've seen him plenty, and he constantly takes on younger guys. Even though when you say 39, I mean, that's 10 years apart. And that's a big 10 years. Yeah. From what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's throw it up to Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Michael Goldman has called a stop to the action just 43 seconds into the very first round for your winner by submission due to rear naked choke out of the blue corner, Will Holtzclaw! Will, Hol Will Holtzclaw comes away with a big win there for he and his family tonight. Great job as Aaliyah gives him a great big hug. We'll be right back right here with Kate Zilla 53 in Manassas Park, Virginia.